This is supposed to be <laughs> this box full of uh, Italian and Spanish scraps. And so I'm gonna open this up and hope. Well, I could probably find a better. I'm hoping that I'll find that this was worth it and that I like it. And then I wanted to make a real quick uh, project out of it. So let's see. This is the company I chose. There was another one, but this one said it was Happy Colors. Wow. I'm not even sure what these are. Wow. It's supposed to be genuine leather. This one is, this is a little creepy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it reminds me of whatever. I don't know. Um, this is a nice red piece. It's a little big for what I wanted to make today. What I wanted to make today is the super easiest little thing. And this would be kind of a waste because of its shape. Um, wow. What are these? Are these, I guess, I didn't even think about it, but. These are Italian and Spanish. This one might work for the one I'm thinking of. It's a little small. So this is it. And I should get a measure. This is an extra um, cutting ruler. I don't use it because it's it's six and a half inches and it when I'm cutting out a lot I make more mistakes when I'm not adding whole numbers but so you can see the box itself is eleven and a half by seven and a quarter and so these are the pieces that come out of here you can kind of get a sense these are real lead it's, I guess I didn't even think about the fact that I wonder if these are cow leather made to look like this. Surely these couldn't be animals. I'll have to look into that. That look like this. This one might be fun. Oh, this might be the perfect one for what I want to do. This is sort of thick, but I think it would work. Oh, now this one's a little thicker, but that is that is a cool piece of leather because you know one of the things I want to do is try to make shapes on stuff free motion quilt shapes and this is pretty thick some of these others are quite thin I'm thinking that I can add a little interest and fun to stuff I'm making for quite a while with this one package. I think this is probably cow leather. I think this is probably leather from food. I'm pleasantly surprised. And so they all fit in this box. These are scraps left over from making bags and um, other items. And they're supposed to all be genuine leather. And um, I'll put a link to this underneath the video and then um, I, I need to say it every time I've become an Amazon associate and I earn for qualifying purchases. And yeah, this is pretty cool. These ones are like to me the scariest ones and they were right on top because they just, I don't know why. They just seem like snake or something. I hope that wasn't too boring for you. I couldn't resist the opportunity to open that on camera and see what my actual reaction was. 
and this is what we're going to make. I have the two versions I've been playing with shooting certain things with my iPhone and so uh, there it is. I don't even know what to call it. It's uh, like a little earbud case or coin purse. And then I got this which is pretty close to four and a quarter by eight and this this is my side where I'm going to put my zipper I've got a half zipper a four and a half handbag zip okay this is the same zipper we did last time so I've got it set up with a little bit of tape and I'm going to use my same setup that I did last time I'm using the jeans thread this little scrap is going to be my test. Oh, I like that. That's a four. I think that's going to be nice. Okay. I'm going to stitch it twice, I think. I'm going to try to go straight because I'm eyeballing this. That's pretty, pretty far away from that edge. But so this leather is one of the thinner ones in this. Uh, case and I tried to make one of these out of this thicker piece see the can you see the difference in the thickness of these two pieces uh, this was a struggle and my zipper was too light to handle the turning and stuff so I'm remaking it with this more flexible uh, green one all right I think this is a little prototype of sorts. I've made these out of cork with a guide using my other machine. I think I would like this better if I was a little closer to that edge, but I actually think it's attractive. So then, so I do this little thing where my bags, my things positioned like this, and I put the zipper part way on and I kind of match these up and see where they're at. But I want it to be inside out when it's on, so I'm going to go like this and try to get those together. And then when I zip past here, I want to judge, and I did pretty close on the first try, so I'm just going to leave it like that instead of trying over nine times. And then I'm going to, just like I did the one side on last week I'm just going to sew down this and I don't think I'm going to stitch twice I'm just going to stitch once but you could certainly stitch twice right. this leather kind of sticks to itself I'm going to I'm going to start past where I want to be back up and then come forward so that I don't go over and over and over I'm just going to go a proper back stitch. So it's it's struggling a tiny bit because the needle kind of sticks in there and so I'm not gonna floor it, I'm gonna kind of baby it. going to not come past the end of the zipper. I'm going to get right up to the end. The coils are still on that side, or I mean on this side of my needle. The coils are actually on this side of my needle. I'm going to back up. You can see I didn't come as far as I could have. I'll go again one more stitch forward. So I didn't even go over the edge this time. So I, I'm not sure why, but I just wanted to grade this off a little. So I just trimmed the front layer of the leather off a little. And I like to leave the zipper plenty long there because it already wants to kind of move around more than I'd like. 
so. So this is where you start getting into trouble. This is so thick. But so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and instead of sewing it like this and making a little flat square thing, I'm gonna sew it like this. So my zipper's most of the way open and I'm gonna press these like this. And it makes one of these little pods, you know, these little triangle, I don't even know what to call it. So I'm gonna do it like this and I'm gonna sew that along the bottom. I'm gonna try to go straight. I don't have any kind of a guide. I'm gonna start forward a little bit and back up. And you can see that it's kind of... Now, what I want to do is try to come up with a couple more projects to make out of this leather that's in here. Okay. My other machine might do better with a leather needle. I don't know for sure. I, I think that this could be a little thinner. It might help in the use. I, I think it'll be all right if I trim that. All right. Now, you know, we know turn, turning is never pretty. I'm going to try to... I hope I'm showing you everything. Okay. And now I'm going to turn it. And instead of just letting this wad in the corner, I'm actually gonna flip this over and kind of pinch it and then kind of try to force it out in a point. And then I'll try to do the other corner similarly. Let's see if that works. Maybe it just needs to be Okay, I think it just needs to be turned. So we turn it, we get it out like this. I want to fix that. I went and got this little bodkin and I like this little square end for this and the other side's a ball. And so I'm just gonna use that to poke that out nice and square. Okay. And then poke this side out nice and square. Okay. Now, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got something cute. Now we want to get the zipper going. I always like to push my finger up in here and then do this. And there it is. So it's a cute little thing. Um, you, could, you could take another pass at it and make it smaller. This is kind of long, being the size I made it. Um, you could keep sewing needles, chalk, feet, earbuds, coins. It would be a cute thing to make for kids. I do really wish I'd uh, gone closer to that. I wouldn't make this, I would stitch closer, done that a lot closer. But the whole point of this, making these uh, prototypes is we're learning. So I um, hope that this was interesting. I like the leather, some of it's thick. Um, I'm starting to wonder if a leather needle gets dull. I might look into that and see how often you should change a leather needle. It had a hard time punching through this thickness. These are the two different thicknesses that I experimented with today. And this green is not only thinner, but it's much more flexible 
this is pretty stiff and it was struggling a little bit on this but the even bigger problem was that I used too short a zipper with too small a coil and too small of a zipper head and it was what wasn't going to make it. This was splitting out on me. I, I don't think I was going to be able to turn it. I'm going to try to turn it now. I don't know how I was ever going to turn it. It's just too stiff. Now, if you want to make this project using cork, really easy. Yeah, this just, this makes me feel like I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah. In fact, all I'm going to do with this is cut off the zipper and save this little scrap of leather for something else. I've been working for many days on a gardening video on today's plan um, because I do uh, more than 20 planters in the summer and some hanging baskets as well and so and I got a late start and so I usually space it out over a long period of time but this time I just did it all in the last uh, starting a couple days before Mor Memorial Day and so I've been working on that so this is going to be a quickie quick quick thanks